So this question involves um, you having to find this unknown length x, okay? And it's in meters. So you've got this length and this length. So the first step is what? Label, yeah? Yep. Cool. Let's label that's theta. What's this side going to be here? The 45 is O. Well done, because that's opposite that angle. What's this going to be the x? A. A. Good stuff. Cool. So what are we going to label? You've got your label as O is equal to 45 meters. Your A is going to be, we have no idea, question mark. And your theta is equal to 15 degrees. What's your second step after that? Uh, what, what do you know? Yeah, so what do you, oh, sorry. We've labeled it and I've accidentally what you know part already. Okay, so I've already done that. No, sorry. Uh, and then your third step, what's the third step? Is it sub? Uh, formula, which is your ratio. So what ratio uh, yeah. will you use? Uh, Toa, which is... Toa, yeah, brilliant. Toa, and that's going to be tan theta equals O over A. What's your fourth step going to be? Sub. Substitute. Game over, right? So let's substitute. Tan 15 degrees is equal to what? O over A. Oh, what's my O? Oh, it's 45 over X. X. Okay, this is also, this is what gets most of the people. A lot of people, what they do is, in this question, they go, oh, x is equal to 45 over tan 15. Or what they do is, they go, oh, x is equal to um, uh, tan 15 over 45. So a lot of people do this act. So they go, oh, x is equal to tan 15 over 45. That's a common misconception, but that's actually not the case. Let's go back to algebra, okay? Now, algebra says, let's say for example, you've got nine is equal to three over x. Where is x in this question here? Well, you don't really know. Well, it's at the denominator, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's at the bottom, yeah. so. Yeah, right, it's at the denominator. You need to have your final answer as x is equal to something. Right? Now, x is at the denominator. Where do you need to bring it to? To the top. Yes. So you want to bring that to the top. How do you bring that x to the top? Multiply. Well done. And why do you multiply? Because it's the opposite. Well done. Like... Yeah. So you're going to bring it to the top by multiplying. This is going back to algebra again. So you're going to have what? What's your thing going to be? 9 times x is equal to 3. How do you solve for your x now? What do you need to get rid of? The, the, the 9. Okay, and why do you want to get rid of your 9? Because it's interfering with what the answer is. Yeah, you want to have x is equal to something. So you want to get rid of anything next to that x, right? So you're going to get rid of that 9, and how do you do it? You divide by 9. Why do you divide by 9? Because it's the opposite. Correct, right? So now you're going to have x is equal to 3 over 9, which is 1 third. Let's go back to this question, which is the one that we have. How do you solve for x? What do you need to do here? I have to bring it to the top by yeah. multiplying. And why do you bring it to the top? Because it's the opposite. Yes, and it's at the bottom. Bottom. Right? It's at the bottom. We want to have it at the top. So what are you going to do there? You're going to have x times tan 15 degrees is equal to 45. How do you find out what x is? What's bothering the x now? Uh, the tan 15 degrees. Well done. And how do you get rid of tan 15? Divide. Right. And why do we divide? Because it's the opposite again. Well done. So to bring it to this side, you're going to divide. So let's go. When you divide, you have to divide on both sides. Again, I'm explaining it at the most basic level here. Okay. You have to do it to both sides technically. Okay. When you do it to the left hand side, you do it to the right hand side. So now you have, what, x is equal to 
45 over tan 15 degrees. Do you understand that now? A bit? Yeah, I can't do that. X is equal to... Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's what you put in your calculator now. What did you get that for your answer? I don't have my calculator, do you? Okay, I do, but could you use your phone? Yeah, hang on, give me, let me give me a second. I think if you flip it on a landscape, you should be able to get it. Do I go to just normal calculator or? Yeah, use your, yeah, yeah. You could even use your normal calculator, yeah. You don't technically need, like, it still has on the normal one as well. So 45 over 10, 15. And can you give it in two decimal places? What's a negative number? 45 over 10, 15. Are you sure? Yeah. Doesn't come up as a negative. When you enter in the calculator, make sure that tan 15 is in brackets. Oh, okay. Well, for me, it comes up as 167.94. Well done. So X is equal to 167.94 meters. And that unit is very crucial. So looking back at this question, okay, it's not about the answer. The most important thing, how does we get there? How do we get there, right? So you've got your triangle, you labelled it, the appropriate sides, and then after doing that, you write down what you know, and we realise we know O and A, okay, from there, and we know theta is 15. Then after that, we write the ratio. After writing the ratio, you realise, oh, it's TOA. So let's write it down, and then we substituted the values in. After substituting, we realise X is at the bottom. We need to bring X to the top because we want to solve for X. Okay, we did the appropriate operations bringing it to the top we multiply we know that in order to solve for x tan 15 is bothering it how do we get rid of tan 15 we do the opposite the opposite is dividing and we bring it here then we solve for x okay and then this part you have to be extremely careful one because you need to make sure that you've entered it correctly in the calculator and the second thing is you need to put the units so it's in meters and then the other thing is, if the question says to two decimal places, that also needs to be there as well. All right? So it's not exactly the answer uh, that you want to get. You want to get the right thing is going according to that journey. All right? I'm going to give you another question to have a go at. 